Hello and welcome to the October 2025 edition of The Soul Briefing. I'm Marek von Rennenkampf. Over the past several months, we here at The Soul Briefing have covered ongoing incursions by unknown quote-unquote drones, often over particularly sensitive assets and facilities, which have now spanned several years. These incursions have only become increasingly brazen in late September and early October. In just the latest examples of such activity, unknown objects caused repeated shutdowns of the Copenhagen and Munich international airports. At the same time, unknown objects were observed over critical infrastructure and military bases elsewhere in Germany and in Belgium. Now, while the vast majority of publicly available video footage supposedly depicting these incidents shows misidentified aircraft or stars, Danish, Belgian, and German authorities have confirmed, confirmed the recent incursions of unknown, quote unquote, drones in their airspace. Now, to be clear, on their face, these incidents appear to be a dramatic escalation of Russia's so-called hybrid warfare tactics, which are intended to sow uncertainty and disunity in fear in NATO states amid the ongoing war in Ukraine. Destabilizing Russian activity is certainly a possible, if not likely, explanation for at least some of these mysterious incidents. Now, with that said, in the spirit of analytic rigor and objectivity, we here at the Soul Briefing must note that remarkably brazen incursions by unknown objects over sensitive facilities and assets predate Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine by several years. Perhaps most intriguingly, one particular flight dynamic reported recently in late September during incursions over critical infrastructure in Kiel, Germany, has been observed in previous UAP incidents to include the 2019 and 2020 mystery, quote unquote, drone incursions in Colorado, Nebraska, Wyoming, and Kansas, and yet again, just last year in Wyoming. According to German news outlets, a, quote, drone network with mother drone, end quote, flew over the Kiel University Hospital on September 25th. Later that evening, a, quote, large stationary drone and several small flying objects, end quote, were observed over the Kiel Canal, which hosts a key naval base and several major industrial facilities. Now, from an analytic perspective, this quote unquote mothership dynamic is particularly noteworthy and unique. FAA and U.S. Air Force emails obtained by researcher Doug Johnson and published by the War Zone on the widely reported late 2019 and early 2020 quote unquote drone incidents in Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska, and Kansas describe precisely the same dynamics. For example, in an email sent on December 31st, one of the FAA's lead investigators describes how a, quote, Chase County, Nebraska sheriff deputy reported observing 30 to 50, 30 to 50 objects, quote, flying independently of each other with a larger mothership hovering for hours, end quote. Similarly, in a January 7th, 2020 email to the same FAA investigator, a Kansas Highway Patrol pilot describes an incident where a fellow Kansas Highway Patrol trooper observed an object that, quote, had a really bright light on it, like a spotlight. That drone stayed relatively stationary at that location, end quote. The trooper then stated that, quote, there were anywhere from 10 to 15 drones that flew all kinds of patterns around that stationary drone, end quote. At one point, one of the objects flew directly above the trooper's house at a height that he estimated to be about 200 feet. But the object made, quote, absolutely no sound at all, even though the wind was calm, end quote. Now, just as a brief aside, the publicly disclosed emails show that witnesses frequently remarked on the surprising lack of noise made by the objects involved in the 2019 and 2020 Great Plains incursions. Now, at the same time, a January 6, 2020 internal Air Force email from Francis E. Warren Air Force Base, which 
oversees 200 nuclear missile silos and their launch control facilities spread out across vast rural areas of Wyoming, Colorado, and Nebraska, describes an observation of a, quote, swarm of 30, end quote, objects that, quote, were following a mothership, end quote. Notably and perhaps alarmingly, another Air Force email dated January 2nd, 2020, describes these objects as being, quote, clustered in an area that has quite a few Minuteman missile sites, end quote. These are references to the nuclear missile silos in that area. And loyal Soul Briefing viewers, of course, will recall that the UAP nuclear nexus is a remarkably robust phenomenon. In 2024, just last year and four years after the quote-unquote mothership dynamics just described, law enforcement officers in at least eight Wyoming counties observed large numbers of unknown objects, often flying over critical infrastructure. A spokesman for the Sweetwater County Sheriff's Office described observations of, quote, spoke-like formations with multiple drones branching off from one large central drone, end quote. Sublet County Sheriff Casey Lair similarly stated that his office received reports of, quote, very large drones and, quote, several smaller objects flying in a grid pattern around that singular drone. Are we noticing a trend yet? And that brings us full circle to the recent observations of a, quote, stationary, quote, mother drone surrounded by smaller objects in northern Germany. From our perspective, it strains all credulity to believe that such specific, specific dynamics would be observed across multiple counties, states, and now countries amid incursions by unknown objects purely by chance. However, unfortunately, video or photographic evidence of such flight dynamics is sorely lacking. So to that end, we ask our Soul Briefing viewers to be on the lookout in case they see anything odd in the sky and especially anything along the lines of what we've discussed here to capture video and to be sure to note the date, time, and location of their observation. Of course, these intriguing mothership dynamics are only the tip of the mystery, quote unquote, drone iceberg. As loyal Soul Briefing viewers are well aware, in late 2023, unknown objects flew with complete impunity over Langley Air Force Base in Virginia, nightly for nearly three weeks. Langley, it should be noted, is a key air defense facility that houses the Air Force's advanced F-22 fighter. According to the then commander of NORAD, retired General Glenn Van Herc, the objects that flew over Langley Air Force Base were impervious to all jamming efforts. In other words, an unknown actor, terrestrial or otherwise, put on a nightly, nearly three-week show of dominance over a critical Air Force base that hosts the service's most advanced fighters. And in late 2024, Radar at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base tracked up to 17 unknown objects in proximity to the facility, which forced the base, one of the Air Force's largest and most important facilities, to close its airspace. Similarly, brazen incursions by unknown objects, which also resisted all jamming efforts, occurred late last year at multiple U.S. military bases in the U.K., including facilities presumed to host U.S. nuclear weapons. And over the course of several months in 2019, unknown objects swarmed Navy ships often well over 100 miles offshore. The only publicly available video of one of these mystery quote-unquote drones where any kind of structure is discernible shows a spherical object that moves against strong 40-knot winds, highly anomalous in its own right, before descending slowly into the ocean. This intriguing incident, which occurred in close proximity to the USS Omaha in July 2019, is corroborated by radar tracks and footage recorded from the ship's deck. Intriguingly, a similar UAP swarming event occurred the very next day in the same general area. 
in close proximity to another ship, the USS Paul Hamilton. Just like the USS Omaha incident, sailors aboard the Hamilton observed an object descending or splashing into the ocean. On October 10th, Breaking Defense reported that current NORAD commander, General Greg Guillot, stated that the U.S. government has not established any links between these truly bizarre, brazen incursions over critical military facilities and any foreign governments. Now, that frankly is quite astounding. It means that an unknown actor has demonstrated and continues to demonstrate the ability to repeatedly violate sensitive airspace from naval training areas 100 miles off the coast of California to the Air Force's most sensitive facilities with complete and utter impunity. The recent incursions over Europe, and in particular the mothership dynamics observed in northern Germany, which have been seen frequently over the last six years, only deepen this years-long mystery. For the third year in a row, Congress has failed to pass the UAP Disclosure Act. This is particularly notable since the legislation, which suggests that a decades-long, quote, legacy program has retrieved UAP of unknown origin and, quote, biological evidence of non-human intelligence, end quote, and is thus arguably the most extraordinary legislation ever formally introduced in Congress, is sponsored by a bipartisan group of high-profile senators, including Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, Mike Rounds, Republican from South Dakota, and Kirsten Gillibrand, Democrat from New York, both of whom sit on both the Senate Armed Services and Intelligence Committees. Now, rest assured that despite this disappointing setback, we here at The Soul Briefing will be keeping a very, very close eye on UAP-related legislative developments in Congress. And finally, we are pleased to announce that the Seoul Symposium, the Seoul Foundation's signature annual gathering featuring presentations and discussions from key voices on UAP in government, academia, and science, will be streamed on October 25th and 26th from Baveno, Italy. If you are unable to join us in person, we very much look forward to engaging with you via the streaming option. More information may be found on the Soul Foundation's website, and links are in the description below. Thanks for joining us for this October 2025 edition of The Soul Briefing. 